Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mountain Studio, and this week I have a UI tip for you, and it has to do with fonts, and it has to do with data priority, or you could also call it font priority. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you have data on your UI, not all data is of equal importance to other data. And let me show you an example of this. Now, if we look at the calendar here, we notice there's a lot of information on there, and some data sticks out more than others. Well, the things that tend to stick out more are things that are more important to the user. So, for example, if we look at the days on top of this calendar, the, the SMTW that signify, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on, notice how those letters use a smaller font, but yet the numbers below is a larger font, and it's a little bit darker. That's because Apple believed that that data was more important than the letters for the days. And also notice how Friday, July 28th is a little bit smaller than the day numbers as well. So they believe that this day number was more important. And not only do they use different fonts, but they also use different colors. So the weekends might be a little bit less important. So they have those grayed out. And if we also look at a different view here, we'll also notice that the start time and end times are also different. Where here they believe the start time is a little bit more important than the end time because the end time is a little bit grayed out. Well, we're going to do that in this application that I have here. We're going to look at the data that we have and assign it a different priority using simply a font. So here's what the app looks like now. And this is just an app that I put together for this purpose. If you look through, it looks pretty boring, right? And if you look at all the data for each row, it's all the same font and it all kind of blends in with each other. So nothing's more important than the other. Okay, so if you're looking at these three different types of data, which one do you think is going to be more important to the user? Well, this could be an arguable point, but, <laughs> but a way to find out is to actually ask your users and find out what they believe is most important to them. And then once you know that, then you can make changes accordingly. So for some people, you know, they might be looking for a job that pays better than what they have now. So the price might be more important. So let's just take this. And again, we're not going to work with color in this video. We're just going to work with fonts and how to make things stick out more than others with this idea that some data is more important than other data. Okay, we're going to change this to a custom font. And I'm going to pick Arial Next Condensed. And then I'm going to bump this up to like 44. And I'm going to make that stand out even more. How about let's go heavy? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not that heavy. Let's just go with bold. There we go. Okay, so we believe that this will be more important to our users than other data. And then, do, will they care about the company name or the job title? Ah, eh, maybe the job title, because this app is kind of cheap and it you can't really <laughs> you can't really filter it by job title. So let's show that as more important next. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the same font, you know, to keep it consistent. Arial next, or Avenir next, condensed. And then I'm not going to make it bold. Instead, I'll make it demi-bold, which is a little less bold. And then I'll bump it up a little bit to 20 here. Okay. And then for company name, well, let's put that over on the side. So I'm going to adjust the alignment here. And let's see. We'll change this to Avenir Next as well. <laughs> Avenir Next. Yeah, Avenir Next condensed. And let's just keep it at 17. And, you know, maybe I will change the color. I'll make this, I'll just make it dark gray. There we go. So now if we run this, let's see how it looks. So there you go. It's a huge difference. Remember how it looked before? Everything kind of blended in. Well, all we did here is just adjust the fonts. <laughs> and we made some of them bigger and darker and stand out more. And the app actually looks a little bit better, doesn't it? So there you go, guys. This has to do with font priority or data priority. So this is what I want you guys to do this week. Take a look at your app and see if there's any data on your screen 
that you believe is more important to the user than other data and find a way to make it stick out more. Or you can look at the other elements on your screen and if you believe they are less important, then find a way to make them stick out less. You know, make them smaller, give them a lighter color so the other data around it sticks out more. All right, guys, that's it for this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with your friends. And if you'd like to help out this video or my channel, please consider supplying a translation in your native language so it helps other people in your country or other people that speak your language find this video. All right, thanks, guys.